In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add two-factor authentication to your WordPress logins using a plugin for your WordPress site, Google Authenticator for your smartphone, and you're going to get the passcode through Google Authenticator to input into the site. And we're doing all of that right now. I'll see you in the tutorial. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's add this two-factor authentication to your WordPress logins. I'll see you in the screen capture. With two-factor authentication, there's always two different components. There's a website, which we have, and the login page on that website, and then we need to get a separate piece of code that comes from somewhere else. In this example that we're going to do right now, it's going to come in the form of a message on our smartphone through the Google Authenticator app, and we're going to use that code to log into this site. So the first thing we're going to do is install the plugin. Go to Plugins, then Add New, search for Two-Factor Authentication. The one I used to always use was called Google Authenticator, but it doesn't seem to be working properly at the moment, so the one I'm using now is Mini Orange. There's a couple others you can try it if you want, but I'm going to show you how to use this one. The process will be very similar for all the others, so it's going to be very transferable if you watch this video. But we're going to use the mini orange version and click on install now and then activate. Now that we have that installed, there's a new menu item at the very bottom or near the bottom on the left hand side called mini orange two factor. Click on that. And the first thing we have to do is register with mini orange. All that takes is your email address, your company name leave it at that. You don't have to put your first and last name, that's optional. Phone number is optional, but you do need a password. So I'm just going to make a really simple one. I click on submit and it's going to send us an email where we have to confirm that this is actually us. Going to be a little bit of code in that email. So I'm going to pop into my email account to get that code right now. This is what the confirmation email looks like. This is the code we want to copy right here. It's going to highlight that and copy it and paste it into this field. Then click on Validate OTP. OTP stands for One Time Passcode, in case you're wondering. And now we get a notice, which looks like it's saying you need to give us money. But if we read a little closely, it's actually not saying that. Even though there is a premium version, it's not saying give us money or else. What it's saying is we send text messages. They send passcodes via text message, which costs the developer money. Every text message anybody sends via any automated software costs actual money. So this plugin is giving you 10 free ones and then after that, you have to buy a package for the text message option. However, there are a lot of other ways this plugin can work. There's the soft token, push notification, QR code, email, there's a bunch of others. So if you want the text message version, you got to get the, the package. But if you want to use one of these other options or the Google Authenticator app, you don't need to pay anything. Click on I understand once you understand that. And here it details the packages you can buy if you want to. I'm not going to look at any of those. I'm just going to click on set up two factor right here. At the very top, we have a red message saying set up your security questions in case you lose your phone. Because if you get locked out or you lose your phone, you can't get the passcode. This is a backup way for you to get in. So we're going to click here to set those security questions first. Then we just select our questions. What was your first company name? I don't even remember. Deer Park Restaurant, I believe. Uh, what's your favorite sport, soccer, or football for the rest of the world? So I'm going to click on save to save those two. We have to have this one. What was your hair color? It used to be red. Now it's getting kind of browny, sandy brown. Even dark brown when it's wet. So it used to be red. Anyway. Neither here nor there. Those are now our questions in place in case we lose our phone or whatever device these notifications are sent to. Now these are all the two-factor authentication methods that this plugin offers. Email, that's already active. When we registered, it activated the email option. SMS, again, we get 10 free ones, but then we go premium to get more. Phone call verification through premium. A soft token, which is a six-digit code generated through an app like Google Authenticator. QR code, push notification that goes to your smartphone, Google Authenticator, add-on itself, Authy two-factor, which is another popular two-factor option, and security questions, which we've just configured. I'm going to choose on Google Authenticator, which 
it's cool because I like Google. Now we go through and set up these steps just by choosing the option that applies to us. For me is iPhone. Then it's gonna reload on its own. And now we have to pull out our phones and download the Authenticator app in the App Store and then scan this code with it. So we're gonna hop over to my phone to screen capture from there so we can carry on with this tutorial. So here we are in the App Store. We're gonna to go to search and then search for Google Authenticator. If I could spell, that'd be great. My fat thumbs. Hopefully knows what I'm talking about. And it does, Google Authentic. So we're gonna click this little cloud icon because I've downloaded it before in the past. Click on that and then verify probably with my thumbprint. Nope, download something recently so it doesn't need my thumbprint again. Then I'm going to click on open once this is downloaded and installed. I'm gonna click on begin setup. All we have to do is scan a barcode which is the one that's on that page where we were earlier. Then we're given a number which is our passcode. We have to enter this number into the plugin that we're setting up a moment ago. So as soon as this one runs out, that little pie that's being eaten in the corner and the number goes red, that means time is running out. And we're gonna get a new code. So I gotta put that new code into the plugin. I'm gonna do that right now. I didn't make it back into this recording in time for the old code, so I got a new code. It's gonna be different than the one you just saw. But this is a new code the app is giving me. I'm gonna click on verify and save. And now we have Google Authenticator has been set up as our two-factor method. Click here to test the method. So we're gonna click right there and we're gonna get another verification code from our phone, which is the same process as before, although now it just automatically, it's always there, it's always reloading. I'm gonna click on validate OTP, one-time passcode, and test successful. Now we click here to go to the login settings. This is where we set who has to authenticate with two-factor. In the free version of the plugin, the only option we have is administrator. In the premium version, you can choose any of these roles or none or whatever roles you want to have to two-factor authenticate. For me, administrator is just fine because most of my sites, I'm just the administrator. So depending on your needs, you may need the premium to be able to select other user roles. But for my needs, admin is just fine. And then down at the bottom, all these grayed out ones are all premium. Mobile support for mobile users. Login with a password and two-factor, which is what we want. Enable forgot phone. This is important for when your phone is lost and this will be the security questions that you're sent that we set up just a few moments ago. This option right here, XML RPC settings. Leave this checkbox unchecked because it reduces your security. I don't know why you want to have that checked, but it gives you that option to check it. And then it says, please keep it unchecked. Don't know why, but they have that there. So we're gonna enable two-factor plugin which is what we want. We're in fact not changing any of these settings. What I'm gonna do is boot up Firefox and head over to my login form to see if we can two-factor log in. So we log in now as we normally would. There's gonna be an intermediary page, which is please enter a one-time passcode shown in the Google Authenticator app. This message is being shown because that's the two-factor method that we chose in the setup. If you chose a different method, this is gonna be a different message and a different way to get the passcode. However, this is the way that I chose for this video. So I'm gonna enter the code that's currently showing in my app, then click on validate, and now we're logged in. And that is two-factor authentication in a nutshell. Now, as you saw earlier, the code on my phone is only there for about 20 seconds. And somebody who's trying to hack into your site cannot access your site unless they have that code. So even if they brute force your password, they can't actually get to the next step. They could however brute force the code, it's only six digits, but they probably could not do it fast enough before the code resets again. So they constantly be starting over from scratch and trying to brute force it again and again and again, and it keeps resetting and it's not worth their while. So they're gonna go somewhere else. So that's how easy it is to add two-factor authentication. As you saw, there's a lot of different methods. We chose to use the passcode from Google Authenticators, but you can do it via email, text message, uh, a bunch of others I don't remember right now. There's lots of different ways. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up, let's click on one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress 
And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.